Today, we're going to be sinking this massive cargo ship. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and teleport inside the actual bridge here where we will be actually driving this thing. So let's go ahead and click ignition and throttle up. Is that all we have to do? Hold on. Let's get some lights. Oh my gosh. We're popping a wheelie. What's going on? Um, This thing is actually pretty quick for a boat like this. Quite impressive if I do have to say that. Um, We do have some turning here. Very aggressive. Oh my gosh. This thing can turn on a dime. So let's turn on some lights. So um, bow thruster ignition. Is that like a separate engine for the bow thrusters? That's so weird. But um, we do need lights in here we have a map um we do have lights but i need like the actual you know like button switch for it um back here we have oh a lamp oh that's useful oh here it is okay so um daylights navigational lights deck lights spotlights um there we go so we have all of our lights on let's see our electric our electric's actually on full and we do not have actual infinite electric or anything on that really shouldn't be so yeah completely realistic now um we are pretty shallow so we're gonna get out a bit farther before we do anything crazy you guys also probably did notice that we spawned at a different dock today i normally don't do that but you know i feel like doing something a little bit different so we did that so we're probably gonna go somewhere out there probably not all the way over there it's a lot of distance for this type of boat to be um going but we do have two lifeboats on board that do look like they function so that's a good sign but all right so we have currently a straightaway to over there i don't think we'll hit anything so yeah why don't we run through a bit of a tour so how do we open these doors right here um we click that okay perfect and then we have a spotlight right here which is very bright and we can turn it left and right all that fun stuff and then this is actually how we get on the lifeboat right back here so let's go on the actual stern i think it is uh, oh god yes yeah, so right here we can do the uh divot thing or davit i think you say and then yeah it extends and then we can do up and down that's actually a really cool lifeboat system i do like that and then is this a swimming pool i don't know why they always put these in cargo ships is that like is that a swimming pool am i wrong or is that like something else it's probably like a coolant or something okay so we're gonna go in here um i don't know where the lights are at this is actually really nice looking all right so for this room um down the hallway right here we do have some lights it's looking very nice we have some curtains on every window i should do that that's actually a pretty smart idea um a bed right here what bedroom is this is this like the um it doesn't sit, have it labeled okay so that's the lights right there and i think this is actually the um captain's cabin yes yeah, so this is the captain's cabin right here and there is a sync button which i think we might activate today that's kind of the point that's going to be pretty fun uh, we do have a phone right here to probably call the bridge or the engine room in uh, two beds for you know i don't even know why we have two beds that's not really necessary but a cool bathroom then we have this um kitchen here so very nice looking just uh normal kitchen i like the wood to it i was gonna say modern but it doesn't really look that modern but you know it's a boat so let's go down another deck here what is this this looks like a crew member of some sort they got kind of like a blue bed going on here doesn't look as nice as the um ones up there so i notice in boats the lower you go the less like nicer it gets and then over here we can actually go on deck but yeah we are smooth sailing from here. it's a general cargo boat so right here we can probably fit storage containers and we could probably stack them like maybe two or three storage containers high so a row right here one right here and then we do have a crane um i wonder how you operate that that is pretty cool and are these like storage compartments down here oh my gosh that is a huge storage area i don't know what you'd be putting in there but quite interesting i can say that and then right here we have the anchor um we can lower that i'm pretty sure out in um ropes and yeah that's basically the boat up here i really i want to know how you open these hatches right here is this it um connectors nope i want to open like this big door right here i feel like you can somewhere maybe someone over here like operates it um where would the operator be at i honestly have no idea in this thing oh wait i found something here this like crane controller um okay so that's the crane for each and every one of those so there's like a little controller they're gonna go actually back inside and go below deck below the water line but um before we do that there's actually some stuff we missed back here we have a little dining room and then um i think that's actually how we get down there is it yeah i think it is so another dining room this looks like the main kitchen right here i would say and then yep that's basically this floor right here let's go down in the engine room so right right here we have a firefighter suit and a fire extinguisher just in case all right engine room time we're going to turn on the lights in here all right so we have some engine displays which is very nice I actually like when people put the displays like this so battery um i don't know why that's on and uh, never mind that's supposed to be working engine rps temperature everything's looking good in here let's actually go in the main engine room all right so here it is main engine ton of repair equipment i feel like i've um seen an engine room kind of like designed the same way like there's a whole bunch of repair torches on the front here might have been built by the same person i think it might have been that's probably what it is but yep engine control room is right here um i don't really know what you can control in here you can turn on bilge pumps that's about it all right so first thing we need to do on this boat is turn up the wind and spawn in a tsunami the basic starter thing off here all right so the waves are going that way which means the tsunami is going actually um towards where the waves are going so that way is where the tsunami will be spawning at towards that island right over there we are going full port side right now try aiming ourselves towards it wherever it's at i think i do see it spawning over there hold on let's go out here 
Um, is that it right there? Oh, we got a tsunami forming in, guys. Everyone get inside. Okay, I'm gonna get in here. Close the door. All right, it is going quite interestingly. Are these doors waterproof? Ooh, I don't think they are. Oh, that's gonna be rough in here. I think we're all gonna die if this thing actually does uh, dip underwater, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. I think there's like some oxygen mask in here somewhere. So we have a lot of fuel, 60,000 liters. I think we could probably get to the Arctic in this thing. Uh, maybe even back, but this thing is really stable. Uh, is there like an active stabilizer in this thing? There has to be hold on let's go down here below the bow there actually isn't what in the world this thing doesn't have like any type of stabilization besides um the weights down there you can see the um blocks with the dots inside of them are weight blocks so those are a little bit heavier than normal blocks but oh my gosh look at that thing we have a massive tsunami currently heading towards us um all crew brace for collision i am inside the um captain's house right now we're gonna be going on lockdown so close everything up i think i want to be inside of there if we do that okay um oh my gosh that's gonna be rough all right so everyone should know to brace for impact here um everyone also be on standby to load lifeboats i've actually never used this thing against a tsunami so it might end terribly or good it's normally one of the two for boats but yep we are on full speed right now so we should be able to just climb the tsunami um i don't know if this thing has enough power to do that but we're gonna see here we go we are starting to rise the tsunami let's see if we will actually survive we are going our deck is currently going underwater but it is fine oh this is bad this is bad throttle down we do not want to have our throttle up oh we are crashing right there okay i think we did survive but that was pretty insane this thing survived much better than i thought it would if i'm gonna be honest all right tsunami has been canceled we're gonna go ahead and spawn in a whirlpool it is spawning in so somewhere oh i see the water rotating oh i think it's spotted right there we have a massive whirlpool currently trying to suck in the cargo boats we are trying to outrun it oh this is rough guys this is actually pretty intense i think we actually outran it there but um of course we're gonna turn into it look at all those waves twisting back there we are trying to outrun it wait are we gonna outrun it I don't know. I can't tell if we're going forward or not. Let's go. Um, knots is at 12 point. Wait, what? Okay, that's quite interesting how they displayed their knots there. It's on like a constant number. Okay, so yeah, we definitely outran it, but look at that thing. We're gonna do a U-turn and just drive this thing straight into it. I'm honestly not thinking we're gonna survive. That's normally where these boats fail at is the um whirlpools because they just immediately capsize when we go in them, and we definitely will drown in this thing because I don't think these are waterproof doors. All right, here we go. Full speed ahead. I feel this thing like really tilting. Okay, so we're gonna go out here on deck for a second to just to like watch ourselves go in it oh look at that i feel ourselves twisting it's definitely turning it okay you know what maybe we should start getting inside um close the door we're starting to twist okay we are entering the whirlpool right now oh my gosh that is an insane looking view right here um we are actually hauling right now how fast we're we going 63 knots what in the world okay we need a throttle oh yep we're flooding we indeed have water currently flooding into the cabin our doors are kind of like um shifting open here there's gonna be water flooding through that door probably in a second oh this is rough yep see capsizing immediately i hope i close the hatch to the engine room because i don't know if we're going to be floating back up we're going to try full throttling here to kind of point ourselves upwards there we go we have flipped back over i am full throttle this thing is currently popping the wheelie of its life right now i think we're straight vertical that is rough for a cargo boat uh, we're about to be flooding again oh we are capsized there's water over deck but we can stand up it does seem important but um yet yeah, we are straight vertical i think there's water actually filling up in the engine room i would not be surprised oh we oh oh my gosh okay there's water definitely filling up now i can say that i'm actually taking damage um oh i forgot player damage was on you know what? we're gonna cancel this and see how well this thing can kind of float back up um oh this isn't looking good guys i think we've actually capsized yeah so that's once again normally where these boats fail at um on the whirlpool test they just capsize and you can't do anything about it because of propeller sticking out of the water we're up again and now we're going to be clicking the sink button so this is like the grand finale here this is going to be pretty insane i'm going to get ready to get on those lifeboats all right we've gone out decently far i think we're going to um cut the throttle here completely shut it down and click the sink button it is somewhere downstairs i remember seeing it i actually showed you guys it so let's go down here kind of locate where this is at so somewhere in here so this is the captain's room was it on this side um we have the lamp right there oh right here it is sink the boat button three Three, two, one. We are clicking the sink. Okay, sink is on. So what is going on? Oh, it's letting water into the main hall. So we might have to start evacuation um, pretty fast here. Unless here, let's go downstairs and actually check if there's what. Oh, I already feel it leaning. I That's actually probably not good. Um, Let's go in the engine room though, just to see if there's um, any water in there. It might just be a false alarm. Let's go in here. See, it's all looking clear. I don't see any water. I think we're all good. There's so much water in the main hall already. Like, look, I can swim in this. Um, We're definitely sitting lower already. I can say that let's go in the engine room and look at the um water level so there's currently about to be twenty thousand liters in it let's go ahead and turn the waves down so it's like kind of a normal sinking here oh yeah this thing's 
definitely going down from the back. I can kind of already see it leaning. It's just a really kind of tad bit there. But let's go ahead and activate bilge pump. See if those actually counter it at all. That's actually not doing anything. You might as well just have those off just to save like electricity. But yet there's still no water in the engine room. Uh, don't mind whatever that is. That's just a Stormworks glitch. I don't know why that's there. But yep, no water in the engine room. I don't know if there ever will be water in the engine room. I actually don't think so. The water is already up to it. So we'd see water by now, I think. And same with the storage room right here. Wait, is this water in the storage room? Oh, it is. Yeah, they opened the hatch right here. So um, it's connected to the main hall through this hatch that I can't go through. I don't know how that works. But yep, we're flooding in this main compartment here and in the um, main hall. Actually, I think we're going to go down from the bow. It's kind of leaning towards that now. But storage room is completely filled with water. I still do not know how to open these doors. Um, I don't know if you even can open them. That'd be pretty cool if you could, but I doubt it. I don't see any like hinges of where it would open even on the top or bottom. But in a second here, we will see water actually starting to go over deck because look how close it is right there. It's just a couple um, actual inches there. Water is actually slowly starting to spill out on deck. This thing's going to sink much faster now that that's happening. You know what? I think we need to load light boats after seeing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and lower this one first. So um, I think we go over here and we go to the davit right there and it'll extend it for us. Great. I personally would not want to be on that, but we're going to go ahead and lower it. It is being lowered quite. Oh gosh. Okay. Don't go all the water is being lowered um, quite interestingly. So we um, disconnect that and then we click um, the rope right here to disconnect it. So we do that backspace to get rid of the rope in our inventory. And there we go. So that is a light bulb right there. That doesn't look like it's floating that well, to be honest. You know, that's just the fun part of it. So let's go ahead and actually lower this light boat over here. So the davit will be extended down and then we'll just disconnect them just like this. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. So disconnect that. And then we're going to disconnect this one right here. Perfect. All done. Done with the light boats. And then I think we can bring those back in, even though it's not really necessary. Oh, this thing's really going down now. Okay. I didn't even realize that. Um, any water in the engine room still? That's so surprising how there is. Okay. We might have to start abandoning ship. It is going down insanely um, faster than it was just a couple seconds ago. Oh my gosh. I don't know why it just sinks so fast at a certain point. So this is what you'd see as the captain, since you are forced to go down with the boat. So water would start flooding in from both sides and yep, it would sink just like that. Okay. We're going to get out of there. Our swimming pool somehow still has water in it. Look at it going down. Uh, that is going so fast. Okay. We're going to go over here and then swim to a light boat and actually see if those light boats work when we're done with this. Um, oh gosh. Okay. It's going down. Is this like an engine room access? No, it's not. Okay. I can't really get any, um, higher up. I'm going to do this, do some parkour here. Oh, that thing is going down. Is it touching the bottom yet? Um, so, no, we have a lot of room. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, it just sank while I wasn't looking at it. Oh no. It was insane. That thing sunk so insanely fast. Okay. We're going to go over here. There's a nice looking active volcano over there. I do see. So we're going to go on this, see if these light boats actually work. Um, they're really leaning to the right. Uh, we're going to click disconnect here, which disconnects those things. And then W and S is our throttle. Is this electric? Oh, I think it definitely is. Look at our battery. It is draining. So these are electric light boats with um, slightly aggressive turning. I can say that. But yeah, I would say we did survive. Even if we had player damage on, we'd be fine. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. We sunk that boat pretty fast. That boat's on the bottom of the ocean already over there, but that's probably going to be it for this Stormworks sinking ship video. Let me know if I should uh, sink some more ships, of course. So make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that bell, join the Discord, link is in the description, but thanks for watching and goodbye.